angry guy here. I, I just forgot my name for a little bit. And passport bros are living in luxurious, stress-free lives, and women are not having it. Password bros are living luxurious, stress-free lives, and women are not having it. Guys, these guys are out here living their best lives. I'm going to show you a video. I want you guys to see what the password bros are actually doing and why the women are so furious. A day in the life of a passport bro in the Philippines. First, we knock out some work at a remote jobs. We make U.S. dollars overseas, which basically quadruples our our money in the Philippines. We ride our scooters over to a remote beach to grab some lunch. The food is delicious and the prices are wild. Dude, how much was this bottle? Like eight dollars. <laughs> at a restaurant. Two thousand. I was the <laughs> the eight dollar bottle did not disappoint. The whole table caught a buzz. We found a beach club over there where we were able to sober up a little bit, slackline and surf. The sun was going down, so we scared the cows away from our scooters, went back. Back to the local beach where we saw a sign for a full moon party and knew we had to check it out. We partied with some more travelers, made some more friends, and then we wake up in the morning bright and early and start it all again. Follow me. I got good shit. A day in the... Guys, these men are out here living their best life, y'all. They're out here living their best life. Their best life. All right? Y'all can have this life. You can live this life, too. If you guys... This is not a game. This this is good. This is this is only going to get bigger and bigger. All right. These guys are working. Wake up, do some work. All right. Because they're working remotely. All right. And then and then and then they're going and then they're chilling. They're chilling and they make their own hours, guys. This is this is what it this is what it's about. This is what it's about. A lot of dudes are doing YouTube. A lot of guys are you take a six month course, learn how to code. And, then, and get a job working and get a job doing coding and you don't and then you don't and when i say get a job they're not fighting for these jobs at fang like facebook or apple no they're more than happy to take a job making fifty thousand dollars a year or even thirty thousand dollars you said thirty or even thirty thousand dollars a year if you're doing almost no work for example some of these jobs like are like a network you know network administration or stuff like that where basically all you're doing is monitoring a network and they're not paying you a ton of money, right? So some of these are contract jobs. So you're not being, you're making a good amount to do very little work. You're doing very little work. You have the skills and you're doing very little work and that's it, all right? And you're just chilling and hanging out and living your best life. That 30 grand that you're making, you have to understand, if you're pulling 30 grand, let's say after taxes, let's say you're pulling 30 grand after taxes, you're going to be chilling and living like a king from that money because you're paying you're spending your cost of living is very very low so you can go through you can literally at the end of the year have like fifteen thousand dollars left fifteen thousand dollars easily easily if you live and if you if you and that's and that's like splurging like that's like living very very hard like living in like a, living on the beach and like stuff like that if you basically live just normal like you know like live normal like you know rent a place that costs two hundred dollars a hundred two hundred dollars a month and just eat well sleep well or have your scooter and stuff like that you'll have twenty thousand dollars left over at the end of the year. This is this um, this is counting your Netflix subscription. You have Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, all of that. You will have everything, all your subscriptions, everything. All right, your laptops, game P, everything, and you will still have you will still wake you'll still have like twenty thousand dollars left at the end of the year. All right, if you decide to really splurge and throw money and decide like you're gonna throw money away. Then yeah, you may have like ten thousand fifteen. But if you decide that you're gonna, you know, just live like a really comfortable life, just chilling, but you know, not going absolutely crazy, like trying to find ways to throw money away. No, you're gonna have like twenty thousand dollars left at the end of the year because you'll live on ten grand easy. Guys, I'm telling y'all, this these guys are living their best lives, and women are not having it. These women are furious. That's why they're trying to live. They're trying to do the whole soft girl thing right now. Because they're seeing how these guys are doing. And they're like, uh-uh, that's supposed to be my life. 
That's how I'm supposed to be living, not you. You're supposed to be out there working and bringing the money to me so I can live this life, all right? I deserve nice things. You're supposed to provide for me, all right? You're not supposed to be doing this type of thing. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Turn on notifications, never miss another video again. And like the video because it tells YouTube you like my videos and you want to see more of them. The password bros are living living luxurious, stress-free lives, and women are, are not having it. They're upset about this. They're furious about this. They're seeing these guys go on, you know, walk away from society and go overseas and just, just you know, just, just, just find happiness. And they're thinking to themselves, no, this is supposed to be my life. And you are, you're stealing, you're stealing. <laughs> guys, you realize that a lot of these women, they feel like men are stealing from them. Like you guys are stealing from these women. You're stealing from these women because you're you're supposed to be out there, you know, giving these women these easy lives. You're supposed to be out there taking care of them and making them feel like uh feel like, you know, feel like they're queens. And instead, what are you doing? You're running away. <laughs> you're running away because you don't want to man up. You don't want to man up and give her that soft life. All right. It's 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 this is it's crazy. It's like they view us like property. They view us like 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 they own us. And now we're running away. And now we're taking off. And they're basically and they're they're really upset because they're like, how dare you get off? How dare you get off the fields? You're supposed to be out there working those fields, working those fields so that we can eat and eat and live well. And now they're looking at it like you guys, you guys took you guys have taken our futures away. You know, this is what a lot of women are, are feeling right now. Like the password bros are taking their futures away because these are these are the men that were the plan that, that were plan and plan C and plan B guys. All right. And they were supposed to be either their come up or their build up. And now they've and now you guys have stolen that from them. All right. Like who told y'all you could run away? Who told y'all you could leave? No one told y'all you could leave. You know, I mean, it's. it's, it's it's, 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 it's just crazy like that. It's just crazy like that. But this is this is how it is. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm just I'm having a good time. I really am, because I love showing you this. I love you. I love, I love you guys seeing what what's really happening out there. I like I like you. I like when you see what's really happening out there, and you understand that like this is this is it. These guys aren't coming back. These guys don't give a damn. These guys are basically making it clear, like, we're not coming back. We're having fun. We have our scooters. Guys, they're riding around on scooters. Like, this is how it is over there. And it's safe. Scooters are relatively safe because they're not traveling at high speeds. So it's it's normal. You don't really hear about people getting in a lot of accidents on scooters. And so they're riding around on motorcycles that there are big problems. But on scooters, you're pretty much good. And you go from point A to point B. Scooters are very, very cheap. It's so cool, guys. Like, you have your scooter. And you don't have to spend all this money on Uber or any of that. You go wherever you want. You meet other guys from overseas. You you know you find that you you find guys that you have a kinship with, and you know, and that's another very important thing because once you have once you have that community of expatriates, like you know, it's it's much more difficult for people to mess with you because because now they know you're not alone. They see that because now you become legion. Because when you are lead, when you when you chill with other expats, and you know I have your back, you have my back. Now we are legion, and they know that like if they mess with one of you, you know somebody else is gonna come looking for you, and they don't want that. You see, when when the way that these people work over there, like when they prey upon foreigners, they're looking for people who are alone, people who don't have anybody, people who don't know anyone, people who don't speak any of the language. But when they know that, like, oh no, you're rolling with a whole bunch of people, and if you go missing, somebody's gonna come looking for you. That's when they're gonna back off. That's when they're gonna think twice. So you have to, y'all have to be smart. But you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna learn that I have a I have a nice package coming for y'all. Where you're gonna learn these things. You're gonna learn how to how to how to live your best life over in the Philippines, how to do it big over there. You know, I'm telling y'all, because this is this is it. Like, this is a transition. Like, like these girls see they go transition to the soft girl era. We're tra men are transitioning into, I don't know, I don't want to call it soft boy era, because we're living, we're living good. We're gonna be living good, eating good, sleeping good, you know, everything's gonna be good. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like, like, like the sun is coming out for us while the sun is setting for them. You know, I, I told y'all nothing lasts forever. 
Like guys, like we need to like roll the anime credits. We need to like roll the anime credits for these for these ladies. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you right now. Pastor Bros are living luxurious, stress free lives, and women are not having it. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, and we'll talk more about it there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away, and cheers.